Carl Jung believed that we inherit ancient memories from our ancestors. These memories are stored deep within the subconscious mind in the collective unconscious. These memories are collected and organized by archetypes. Archetypes have two main functions. They organize these memories into themes, and they send them up to the conscious mind when the right situation arises. Archetypes have been compared to instincts because when they're activated, they influence our behaviors. Archetypes can be behavior patterns, images, memories, symbols, thoughts, and characters with unique personality attributes. Archetypes build our personalities, they guide our values, and they lead us through the stages of life. If they are successful, we will think and act similarly to our ancestors. How archetypes express themselves depends somewhat on culture and unique life experiences. Let's look at an example. Our ancestors all had mothers. Their mothers nurtured and cared for them. Mothers fed them and made them feel loved. An archetype gathered these memories together and became the mother archetype. When we are born, we meet our mothers for the very first time. This experience of seeing your mother activates the mother archetype, and this guides your expectations of your mother, and it guides how you interact with her. Therefore, archetypes are activated when you get into the right situations, much like instincts. So let's say you fall in love. This activates a marriage archetype, and an archetype for starting a family. In the same way, there are archetypes for every situation. Jung believed that archetypes are like a blueprint for your life. Essentially, the archetype's job is to use the memories of your ancestors to get you to live like they did. Archetypes also show up in literature as characters and themes. Examples include the wise old man, the inner child, the hero, and the villain. Archetypes also bring meaningful symbols into the conscious mind. We see archetypal images in dreams and fantasies. Cultures around the world have similarities in their myths, legends, stories, and fairy tales. Also, religions deal with creation stories, ancient floods, and common symbolism such as water symbolizing life, rebirth, and purification. Thank you for watching.